Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you about Arch Linux GUI installer, a project which helps you install and get started with vanilla Arch Linux with the help of a graphical user interface. So I had made a similar video three months back but it has since become obsolete because uh, back then I was only offering two desktop environments, GNOME and Plasma, now I'm offering five desktop environments and two window managers and back then I didn't have a website now I do have uh, archnextgui.in is the link and don't worry I'll put all of the relevant links in the in the description for you guys to uh, explore uh, and also the, uh, the I've made a video on uh, how you can explore uh, the website itself this is the video so you don't have to worry about anything all of the information here is on YouTube uh, if you're new to the channel and to the project in general please do subscribe because this is where I post updates and video tutorials uh, regarding the project and also general Linux content, all right? So what the project uh, aims to give you is basically like what I said, uh, first of all, get you install uh, Vanilla Arch Linux uh, with the help of a GUI installer and also to help you get started as soon as possible, all right? So the whole project is uh, hosted on SourceForge here. And as you can see that uh, I have written here, the next release date is 1st October, that's because uh, I follow a monthly rolling release schedule, which means that on the first of every month, uh, there will be updates, bug fixes, and a possibility of new additions. Uh, new additions, uh, by new additions, I mean that new window managers and uh, possibly desktops. I've already covered five of the main uh, and commonly used desktops, and also two of the commonly used window managers. And uh, I get re user requests that do this window manager, uh, so they will be coming in the subsequent months, all right? Uh, so these are the desktops I offer, Plasma, GNOME, XFC, Cinnamon, Mate, and then Window Managers, i3, and BSPWM. And then uh, you can go ahead and read all of this. I'll, like I said, I'll put all, the, all of the link, uh, links in the description. Uh, most of you might be here because of Armano's video, so I'll, I'd like to thank him for that. And basically with all of the 12 editions that I'm currently offering, uh, you can encrypt your hard disk uh, or SSD with Lukes and then you have support for Bluetooth and printing on the themed editions. Uh, don't get intimidated, I will uh, tell you what the themed uh, and pure editions and all of these things are. As you can see, you have two types of ISOs to choose from uh, when we are speaking of desktop environments which is themed and pure. So we'll get to that uh, in a second. And uh, yeah, you can easily multi-boot uh, Arch Linux with other distributions or other operating systems such as Windows 10 or 11. I've tried that, I've also made uh, video tutorials on that, like this one over here, dual boot Windows 10 with Arch Linux. So you can go ahead and uh, watch all of these tutorials and this is the possibility, uh, these are the possibilities that the project has to offer to you. So uh, apart from SourceForge, uh, just as a backup option because the downloading from SourceForge might not work for everyone out there. So I also, if you come, to he come here to downloads, I also provide uh, the ISOs on OSDN. So uh, SourceForge obviously is the main page because it has been there since the project's inception, uh, which was in January. Uh, and since then I've been doing these monthly rolling releases, all right? So where can you download the ISOs? You can come to files here, which will lead you to uh, this page over here. And then as you can see, all the 12 editions are listed here, whichever you like, depending on your taste uh, and preference, uh, you can go ahead and download. There's some user levels in mind, which I will uh, just talk to you in a second uh, while we go through the readme quickly. Uh, but uh, there are a few things that I'd like to uh, tell you beforehand. The experimental edition folders contains the Zen ISO, which basically has your Zen kernel, BTRFS, and all of that stuff. Uh, that's not vanilla, vanilla Arch Linux, so that's why it's there. Beta ISO folder is, uh, is, will contain all of the beta ISOs I post for you guys to try out. They are unstable, obviously. And then the virtual box review, which was the first release. So that's kind of uh, a nostalgic uh, release for me. So that's why it's always going to be there. Although the project has moved way, way uh, ahead from where, where, where I started, all right? So then we have our uh, checksums, which you can use to verify your downloads. And then you have your readme, which is this thing basically. And then you have your change log, uh, which is basically what changes have come through the months and what new additions have been released and the license uh, of GPL3, the, the a copy of GPL3, which is the license, all right? 12 editions here. Now you might ask, how do I understand what edition uh, has to offer what? I mean, uh, visually, how do they look? So for that, you have to go to uh, on the website here and you can go to uh, download now. So that will lead you to the downloads page, basically. Uh, some basic system requirements and general instructions and uh, 
you can click here and choose the additions. So we have Plasma, Gnome, XFC, Cinnamon, Mate, i3, and BSP Bloom, as well as the Zen Experimental Edition, which I talked about. Uh, so you can click on any of them. Let's go to Plasma, which is uh, first on the list, and you can see the differences. So let's quickly go through what uh, these pure and theme editions are. So when I started the project, actually, uh, Plasma was the first uh, desktop I had to offer. And this uh, desktop you see here, this is the flagship edition, actually. Uh, and this is also available uh, on the top here, right? And as you can see from the downloads, people like it. Uh, so this is the flagship edition. Uh, I just wanted to show you. But uh, if you go to, for example, uh, subsequent editions like uh, GNOME XFC Cinnamon, you won't see the term flagship, you will see the term theme. That's uh, one thing I'd like to tell you that uh, this edition is the Plasma themed edition, but because uh, this is the like uh, main thing that I would like to offer, so that's why this is the flagship. Anyways, uh, let's quickly go through the README. Uh, so download now, this is basically just going to lead you to this page again. Uh, the reason why that button is there is because uh, this readme also exists on the GitHub repo. Uh, don't worry about that. I'll be doing a video on that also uh, for those of you who are interested to build uh, the ISOs yourself. And then my goals with the project, like I said in the start of the video, is to help you install Vanilla Arch Linux with a GUI and then also to help you use Vanilla Arch Linux by getting you uh, started ASAP. All right. So 12 editions all come with a graphical installer, which includes window managers as well. And all 12 editions uh, support encryption via Lux. And these 12 editions are divided into, into three categories, the themed editions, uh, pure editions, and window managers. So over here, themed editions are on the top, Plasma, No Mate, Cinnamon, XFCE. Pure editions are sandwiched between window managers. So uh, Plasma Pure, Gnome Pure, Mate Pure, Cinnamon Pure, and XFC Pure. They have Pure in the name, and their stock desktops will get to that in a second. And then Window Managers. Uh, in, in Window Managers, I do not uh, follow the concept of Pure and Themed, and I'll probably make an, uh, separate videos on Window Manager, video on Window Managers on why that is so. Uh, if you've uh, seen the September release video, uh, which is this one, uh, the latest one, you'll un I have, I've also explained why uh, that is so. Anyways, so what do the uh, themed editions give you? They give you basically uh, uh, like you can uh, treat Arch as a like a distribution. So they give you system-wide dark theme, Office Suite with MS Font support, Media Player, Paru, and all of these things. Uh, printing support via Cups, Bluetooth with their GUIs and system utilities. Uh, this is the XFCE screenshot of the themed edition. And then the pure editions, on the contrary, are stock desktop environments. So GNOME Pure means stock GNOME, GNOME Plasma Pure means stock Plasma, uh, and uh, XFC Pure means stock XFC. They don't come with a lot of software. You are in control. You have the freedom and liberty to choose what uh, applications you would like to uh, get in. So in the themed editions, you get, uh, like for example, Firefox as the web browser. Here, that decision is not made for you. you. If you want Chromium, you get Chromium. If you want some proprietary browser, it's completely up to you. All right, so no bloat. That's the whole point here. And uh, a lot of you would want just talk desktop environments and uh, put in your own themes. So this gives you the liberty to do that as well. And then in window managers, uh, my goal is basically to get you started. Like if, if, if I did something like pure or theme, uh, you'd get intimidated because whenever you install window managers, you end up in a black screen. So that's not the case with the ALG ISOs. You get a basic uh, foundation to work upon and then build uh, your own personal setup because that's what window managers are. They are usually uh, meant to be personal setups, all right? So license and release cycle, like I've already said. Uh, and how do you, uh, despite going through all of this, how do you uh, make a different, how do you differentiate uh, between uh, these pure and themed editions? So like I said, you go to the downloads page and then you see this is how the Plasma uh, flagship looks like, or this is how the Plasma theme looks like. And this is how the Plasma Pure looks like because this is stock Plasma. Similarly, this is how GNOME looks like, uh, the themed edition. And this is how stock GNOME looks like. We all know this uh, if you have used something like Fedora, right? And then this is the XFCE edition, a uh, themed one. And this is how the stock one looks like. Same thing for Cinnamon, Mate, and that's it. All right, and for window managers, you can see this is the i3 edition. 
comes with all of these i'll make a separate video on window managers because they uh, deserve that and then the bspwm edition and then the zen edition comes with stock plasma and uh, it is basically coming with um, all I, i've made a video actually on zen edition as well so you can go ahead and check that out released arch linux with zen edition all right so that uh, i think covers the whole uh, idea and concept behind this installer if you're new to the project uh, please do subscribe and in subsequent tutorial videos i will always point new users to this video those of you who are already following this channel for some time and the project also for some time uh, this video might not be of much relevance to you but please do continue supporting and uh, if you like to support the project please watch uh, the ads on the youtube videos uh, that really helps out um, monetarily so that's uh, just a little request thank you so much for watching enjoy the september release which is out now bspwm edition is out now and uh, thank you so much for watching i hope you have a nice day bye